The Vision Awards celebrate those engineers of today who are making a difference. Engineers make major contributions and have a positive impact on the lives of others and this influence is not surpassed by many other professions. It feels amazing to be honest, um, just to have that recognition for all my achievements that I've had over the past four years and the effort that I've put in over the past four years as well during my apprenticeship um, and it sort of gives me a platform to go on and promote apprenticeships in the future as well. It's a bit surreal actually, I, I never expected to win it when I entered, it was one of those things um, a senior manager at work encouraged me to enter and uh, I'm, I'm really glad I did obviously, you know, I'm very happy with the runner up place. It's, it's quite exciting, at the minute I'm on a graduate development scheme so I started there last September so I've not actually spent that much time in powertrain yet but I'm currently doing rotations around the company so it's a good chance to develop knowledge in a broad range of areas which is really good. So what excites me about engineering is the fact that everything around us is engineered and modern engineers now have to work on making things economically stable as well as environmentally friendly and working on this tight timescales as technology is improving faster and faster we need to keep up with it and ensure that we have the highest innovation. Metrology for me is, is I find it very interesting I think it's just such a diverse subject that, um, that you can be very much involved with manufacturing or design and stress analysis um, and it's just such a, a varied topic. I actually started off as an air cadet when I was 13 um, and I secured a gliding scholarship um, through the air cadets again and I went, I went solo 10th of October 2010 and then obviously from there stayed on as staff member. Being on a gliding site we deal a lot with you know, heavy diesel engine and the winch so I think I sort of started to see it um, you know, different systems and, and got interested in that. The winch tend to tend to break so I had to you know, spend quite a lot of time trying to fix it and I enjoyed that and solving the problems. When I actually look back and think about what I've actually achieved and the experiences that I've had going to different countries to work and working with different employers as well, um, I'd say that's been a main part of why I've had that sort of progression and I have always loved cars, always from a you know, really, really young age. I've always wanted to work with cars. I did work experience at Ford at 17, um, and I, it, from the moment I got there, I just knew that this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to be involved, I wanted to work with cars this closely. So yeah, I think that was what really spurred me on to go for the apprenticeship. I, it was through my work experience that I found out about the apprenticeship, and I just knew it was the, the minute I heard about it, it seemed like there were no, no downsides for me. What made me want to be an engineer was going to things like Farnborough Air Show and Portsmouth Festival of the Sea and seeing engineers and seeing how excited they were about their careers. See, engineering is more than just a job. It's pe people are genu genuinely really passionate about what they do. And I think it's because engineering is such a broad um, environment so each person can find the bit of engineering that really excites them.